projects are a fantastic way of controlling material, labour and other costs associated with an ongoing job within the programme. From this screen we can see a list of all of our current jobs, we can see what we've caught in the first place and how well we're doing against individual budgets on those particular jobs too. Before we start entering individual projects, what we need to do is go to configuration and project costing and it's within this screen we can set the parameters of our jobs. We can enter cost codes for analysis such as fuel and oil, labour, material. Now you can enter your own in there up to 99 different codes if you wanted to. You've also got cost types which is very similar but just give you the next level of analysis. You can have 10 of those set up yourself too. Project status is going to allow us to create our own individual status for jobs right from the initial contact all the way through the point when the job's been done so we can specify what stage our project might be. So now that you've done all that you're ready to set up a new project. So if we choose project record it gives us a blank record card to work with so we're going to give it a reference and for this particular project we're going to call it build 4. You can give it a name and description if you wanted to and we've got estimated start and end dates available too. Now the statuses that we looked at before are available in here so we're going to say for this one we're at initial stage. You can also link this job to a particular customer within the program so if you've already got a current customer that you're doing this job for you may want it to link to their particular account as well. You can give site information there too and we're going to move on to the budgets at the top and this is quite important because we can specify what we expect to spend on this particular job. So we might say £5,000 for labour, we're going to spend £3,000 on materials and we may put some fuel costs in there as well so I'm going to say 150 on that. Now when we enter these individual costs if I move to the analysis tab you're going to see what your total budget for the job is so it calculates those costs for you. Now this analysis tab is really important because every time we spend any money with our suppliers later in the program we can link it to this particular job and it can tell us how much we've spent against our budgets and allow us to see how well we're doing. Another very handy tool within projects is the ability to set up resources. Now you could have resources set up as individual people and you can see that you pay Bob here £190 every half day he works and it's linked to the code for labour. You might have things like skip set up, so this one we've got skip hire weekly and that's going to cost us £200 a week and that's linked to the cost code, this time for overheads. So literally you can have all of your resources set up in there to save your type and everything out all over again. And the idea being if you want to charge some of these resources against a job, all you do is project charges, you pick up whichever job it was and then within your resource you're going to select what it is you're doing. So I might say skip hire system automatically knows that we get charged weekly for that skip hire and all you need to do is put your quantities in there so we're going to say two weeks two weeks it's working out at 200 pounds so your total costs 400 and when we save that it puts the cost straight against that job for you so you can see from an individual record on your project you can open it up and you can go into analysis and you can see straight away how much you've spent in total against this job and how well you're doing against budget for that job